Welcome to Core Basics. We're gonna get right to it. Go ahead and step onto your mat or whatever surface you're using today. We're gonna ground through our seat. Put those feet hips distance and parallel. So all we're gonna do is be focusing on our core today. We're gonna get some other parts of our body mixed in there, but we're gonna really be focusing on targeting that core with some easy, simple movements. So ground through those feet. I want you to center those hips and then bring the shoulders right above the hips. Now, light touch on your thighs. Put your thumbs on top and wrap your hands gently around your thighs, keeping your chest lifted and elbows wide. We're slowly gonna drift back, bringing our feet with us until the soft part of our back meets the floor. So think about where that flat part of your back is. We want that part to meet the floor. Now, you can continue holding on to your thighs, but if you have enough core strength, you can go ahead and take those hands off of the thighs. But that level one is right here. Now, we're gonna imagine I've placed a giant imaginary ball, huge beach ball on your belly. All we're gonna do is lift up and over that ball. So it's a lift up and over and hold, and up and over freeze. So just holding that contraction at the top, you're gonna feel your belly button press through the floor. So it's an up and over hold. Up and over freeze. You've got this. Up and over hold. Up and over freeze. Let's do two more here. Up and over hold. And up and over freeze. Now that we're at the top, you can release those hands. Maybe add a pulse. Just little pulses here. You can do that little tiny lift. Think about that tiny inch. Can you get one inch higher? Lift eight, seven, six, five more, four, three, two. Give me a final hold at the top. Push, push, push. Hold four, three, two, and one. Release it down. Nice job. Now releasing that spine. Maybe hug those knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Just release that front core and plant those feet right back on the mat. So bring them close to your seat. Make sure they're pressing firmly into the mat or floor. And then we're gonna lift right back up to that work. This time we're gonna target the oblique by bringing that one hand to the other thigh. So you have both hands facing one thigh. The opposite shoulder is gonna press up and over towards that opposite knee. So think about that little tiny pulse, just those little lifts. Lift up and up. So if you have the flexibility and are able, maybe both shoulder blades can lift up off that mat or surface that you're on today. Lift up and up. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and take both hands to the other side. We're gonna do that same thing. Lift and lift. Pulsing up, lifting the opposite shoulder to the opposite knee. You've got this four and three, two and one nice job set it down go ahead and hug those knees rock it out feel that core release all right we're going to stay in this position we're going to lift those knees into a tabletop position so the knees should be right over your hips we're going to take the head rest it lightly in the hands and those elbows are going to stay nice and wide so elbows should not be here yet we're going to come there later right now i want you to press those elbows back really super glue that core to the core to the floor we're going to lift just up and over just how we were before it's that up and over hold, up and over freeze. So that head is just resting gently in your hands, taking the pressure off the neck, lift and lift. Let's speed it up. Pulse, 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 you got it. Give me eight and seven, breathe six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down, nice job, hug it out and come right back to it. We're gonna do crisscross abs. So instead of just lifting that little tiny bit, we're gonna take our opposite knee to the opposite shoulder and then crisscross it out. So it's one side and the other. Think about rolling side to side across that mat or flat surface you're using and really lifting the shoulder towards that knee, not your elbow. So it's eight. Breathe. Seven. You've got this. Six. Five, let's pick it up these last four. So it's four, three, two, and one. Nice job, hug it out. Your abs should be nice and warm. You should be building a little bit of a gentle sweat. And we're gonna go ahead and take those um, feet down to the floor, press down through your back core, and then lift those legs straight up to the ceiling. Once they're there, I want you to think about lifting the upper body towards the toes. So we're gonna reach up and release reach up 
and release. So this is targeting that top core. So those abs that are closer to the top, closer to your chest, we're getting that top part of that ab set. We're gonna lift eight, breathe, seven, six, five more, four, three, two, and one. Now keeping the chest lifted, you can take those hands down towards your low thigh, and then we're gonna drop the one leg and then the other, just scissoring those legs out nice and long. If this is too much, go ahead and lay that head down, press those hands on the floor beside your body, and just keep those scissors going. So it's switch, switch. Don't forget to breathe here. Let's go eight more. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring both legs to the top. We're gonna drop it to that midpoint and just do little scissors. Give me eight seconds. Seven, six, five more, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Hug it out, rock side to side. All right, our last set is what I like to call suitcase sit-ups. So those hands are nice and wide. Now we're gonna bring them close together, which is what I told you not to do earlier. Those knees are right over your hips. We're gonna suitcase squeeze. So it's squeezing that suitcase shut, squeeze. So you're lifting that low core, lifting the hips up off the mat, and release. It's a lift and release. Breathe and press. You've got this. Whew, almost there. Nice job. Targeting that core with these little core exercises. You're gonna feel this tomorrow. Let's go eight more. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one, all done. Set those feet down, take one side to the other, stretch out that core, and hug both knees in, sit up. Nice job. After a long day, finding motivation for the gym isn't easy. Hey, Jess, wanna come to the gym? I need it. Find your inspiration again, and ready, set, wonder size. Wondersize Studio helps you find your gym buddies while sweating it out remotely. Anyone can join, watch, challenge, and socialize. Our live motion matching technology will always have your back, guiding you to engage your core when it's needed most. With Wondersize's new video chat feature, receive tailored advice from your trainer or share your personalized tips directly with your students. Let your competitive edge shine by climbing our leaderboards and reaching the top. Nice one, Jess. With all the familiar features of your favorite apps, add a new friend, drop a follow, or even send a message. Keep track of your workout score and monitor your heart rate. Wondersize is a seamless fit for trainers who want to put their skills to use, and a must for people looking for fitness guidance, motivation, and interaction. You can connect with anyone, anytime, anywhere. Hold a conversation while holding a plank. Impressive. It's more than just a fitness app. It's your fitness network. Wondersize, find your perfect fit. Download the free app today.